And joining us today in the audience are Adrian and board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Kamakshi Zeidler. Welcome to you both. And most importantly, Adrian, how are you doing? I went over a hump and I'm feeling great now. Good for you. And this is a little bit different, Dr. Zeidler, than normal expanders. Why? Why is that? Women going through this traditionally have a saline expander, which means the device goes in, and then after they heal, they come into the office to see us as their plastic surgeons. A needle goes in and injects a little bit of fluid, and they have to come make appointments to do this several times until we re reach the desired size. So this completely is a game changer. Um, you see the remote, there's no needles, so this is more comfortable for patients. It's more convenient because um, patients don't have to make all of these appointments. And I think the, the really powerful thing about the technology is it gives patients some control in this process to be able to dose when on days she feels like it and days that she doesn't feel like it she doesn't have to and the other thing I love is we have a lot of patients that will fly to us through from elsewhere in the country more rural areas etc but then they got to like camp out and rent an Airbnb or something for six weeks or more Adrian I am just so in awe of you. I'm not a plastic surgeon, I'm a lawyer, so all these wonderful people have all of this experience, but I know so many women that have had reconstructive surgery and to know that there's this technology and for you to use your story to empower and to help other women, I just think that's so incredible. So thank you, first and foremost, for sharing that. And then to you, Dr. Are there certain women who are better candidates for this type of, you know, reconstructive surgery than other women? The patients who are ideal candidates are number one patients just like Adrian. Women who don't have cancer, have a cancer gene and, you know, weekly I'm meeting women with different kinds of genes I've never heard about that need prophylactic surgery. So this population is growing. So this is ideal. Other women um, that are great candidates are women with early stage cancers. Okay, so they're looking to get through this process quickly and efficiently get that final implant. So they're not gonna be needing chemotherapy or radiation. Adrian, best of luck to you. Yeah. Dr. Zyler, thanks for sharing.